Hello everybody and welcome to our video tutorial on PrestaShop and today in this uh, video I'm gonna show you how to add a button that uh, allow us to scroll uh, to the top of the page uh, so as you can see on this example I'll show you if you scroll past this um, top menu we're gonna see the button in the corner and if you click this button it's gonna automatically scroll to the top of the page so um, let's start let's go to our uh, test website um, that we're gonna work with and in order to accomplish this we need to uh, do three steps and uh, first step it's we're gonna uh, modify a template uh, our website we're gonna add um, extra element to that website and the second um, step it's we're gonna style that element and in third element we're gonna add some logic with the JavaScript so and um, all the code um, uh, examples of this uh, tutorial will be in this in description there will be a link to uh, article about this so if you miss something you can always look it up so let's start so first step we're gonna do is to add uh, extra element to our template so let's, let's go ahead and open our template file uh, in my case it's called uh, footer.tpl file and it's located in the, your uh, main folder of your theme and over here we're gonna add um, extra div element after footer the, uh, container uh, class so let's go ahead and first step we're gonna do is to add element to our template and in order to do this we need to open a template file it's called footer.tpl and just write after this div with the class footer-container we're gonna add our new div element with the top to top text so let's go ahead save it and uh, refresh our page and see our element make sure it's appears so here we go on uh, we have this element on this um, left left side so um, second step is we're gonna style uh, this element make sure and move it to the right side over here and actually we're gonna fix it uh, make it fixable to to this corner so um, in order to do this we're gonna need to open um, a global CSS file so let's go ahead open it and scroll down so let's <coughs> style Uh, so first thing we're gonna do it's we're gonna do position fixed then we're gonna position this on the button zero and to the right zero and then we're gonna add some background this is color snow color of the our text will be red we're gonna add some padding 9 pixels and we're gonna add border um, so it also red color so let's ahead, go ahead save it and let's refresh this and see a result so here we go uh, now we, as you can see now we have this button so uh, gonna add extra style and make sure when you hover it it's we have a uh, cursor uh, we're gonna change cursor so um, to do this it's gonna do hover and then we're gonna do 
cursor point there and then we're gonna flip uh, colors color of the text will be snow and background will be red so let's go ahead and save it and go back to our page and refresh and let's test this so let's hover see hmm, doesn't work no I forget there's no space it should be so let's refresh again Let's have a see. Here we go. Now, we, as you can see, our uh, pointer change and colors uh, change too. And um, in the last third step that we're gonna do is we're gonna add some logic. Um, and this logic is gonna be JavaScript code. And this code you can find in the link in description for this video below and this uh, logic we're going to add to this uh, template file that we worked before so we're going to paste this so here we go and save it and let's go ahead back to our site refresh so let's scroll and as you can see just after when we scroll the uh, horizontal menu we have this button appear so let's see if it's works so let's click it and here we go now it's scrolling up so this is it thank you for watching this video have a nice day and see you next time bye